Hey guys, it's AJ. It's Wednesday on the Beaver Bunch. Last week I got in touch with my real dad and I haven't talked to him in a long time. He actually asked me if I was married and I had to be like, no dad, I'm gay. Which was so weird because I haven't really come out to a family member since I came out to my mom when I was 18. And I actually found myself like getting nervous before I told him and like almost stuttering like, you know, I'm gay, but now I know what you guys go through. I guess you have to relive it again to understand how hard it is to do the first time. So I know what you guys are going through if you're trying to come out, because I just did it with my dad. So this week we're talking about losing friends, and um, you know, it's really interesting that this topic came up, because I just lost a friend last week, because they're dating somebody new, and they think that it's better that we're not friends while they're trying to establish a new relationship and that sucked because I actually liked their friendship for what it was worth but I guess we'll be friends again someday like we are not friends Facebook friends any longer and that's that's extreme but I guess it happens friends come and go and I'll tell you because I'm at the ripe old age of 105 that I have divorced friends Friend, like had friends that left and come back years later and you pick up where you left off like my best friend who I live with here in this palatial condo in Long Beach um, we didn't talk for almost two years well we I had a girlfriend she had a girlfriend and we didn't talk and we came back around and just things picked up like we never left off and it was great and uh, you know there's people that I see out at, at the clubs and I'm like hey we used to be really good friends remember that time and you know that was it we just we had a moment and um, I have a friend who I'm hanging out with now who I've known for 12 years and we really never hung out enough to become friends but we knew each other so we're building a friendship now even though we have 12 years with the history it was never like a solid friendship so I'm working on that but as Lori said in her video don't assume that people don't want to be your friend because you're gay I mean um, people, you know, they they do different things with their life and it, and it doesn't probably have to do with your sexuality and if it does, that's probably a friend that you don't want to have because that's ridiculous. Who wouldn't want to be a friend with a gay person? We're, we're fucking awesome! I mean, yes, we're gay and we probably are more stylish than you and we know a lot more about cool things than you. No, I'm just kidding, but I mean, really, we're, we're pretty cool people people. I mean, whatever. You get what I'm saying. But uh, don't think that they don't want to be your friend because you're gay. And if it's your best friend who no longer wants to be your friend, that doesn't sound like a best friend to me. So really, there's probably somebody way better out there who wants to be your best friend and, and you'll meet them and you'll run into them. I promise. Trust me. You have to trust the wisdom that is spilled from our mouths for you from the Beaver Bunch because we know. We have been there. We've been down that long road of non-friends and friends and drama and, and trust me it gets better except for when you're my age and people don't want to be your friend that kind of sucks I, I wonder if you watch my videos still because you know who you are anyway um yeah so definitely just know that friends come and go like Lori said with the seasons it's true my friend of 12 years only comes around around December but I think it's because her birthday is in December I'm on to her Anyway, um, as we've been mentioning in our videos, we're trying to become a walk star with District Lines. In fact, this hoodie is from District Lines. Get it? Jellyfish? It's cute, right? Um, anyway, we're like 1,100 votes out of, out of the top five. We just want to be in the top five. So if you ever want to give back to the Beavers, this is your time. Please go and vote. I feel like there was something else that I was meaning to tell you guys, but I forgot. So if I remember it, I'll Twitter or put it on the front page or something. I wish I could remember. But anyway, like I said, to recap, friends come and go, and you know, the ones that matter are going to stick around. Like us, we're your friends. We come around every week. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.